Hello everybody. Today I will show you the combination of USB stabilizer and R Studio. R Studio is now sold in combination with DeepSpar USB stabilizer for about $900 in US currency. They both work in unison and I will show you that R Studio software is now modified to accept DeepSpark USB stabilizer in its version 9 technician edition. This is a business edition wherein you can use this software as much as you like without any restriction and it will do recoveries for RAID drives also. Now first of all let me open double click on the icon USB stabilizer so you can see that the stabilizer will detect the hard disk the hard disk which I have applied is a 7.3 GB pen drive with the settings of uh, read timeout a little higher speed optimization none Response to write attempts, ignore. I have said not to do any write attempts. Bad block retries allow, read timeout, hard reset and storage device as hard disk, hard drive. Okay, now uh, on the settings, more settings, I have put it on USB speed as auto. Okay, so this is about USB stabilizer. I'll shift the screen here. Now I will start R Studio. This is R Studio version 9, specially meant for USB stabilizer. The R Studio company has made it for USB stabilizer. Now we can see that the R Studio has detected Dipspar Moser bare disk. You can see this for the first time, DeepSpar USB Stabilizer Professional Edition DSU20406 with an on and off button and with settings. When I open the settings, it says check for drive update, update USB driver online, uninstall USB driver, add hints to log, add debug messages to log. And also it has options to state whether it is a HDD or a SSD, whether speed optimization is required and you can adjust read timeout from R Studio screen which will be reflected on stabilizer. Now what I will do is I will increase the timeout to 7000 ms so that it reads the initial sectors which were bad in this pen drive perfectly well. So I have increased to about 8000. I click on apply. Now you will see that the mode is HDD, speed optimization is there, read timeout is 8200 ms. Now I will right click on Dispar Moser Bear or click here create image. Let us see whether it searches some partitions or no. I clicked on partition search. Initially it has not found out any partitions. However, on further scanning it has found FAT directory entries indicating that this was a FAT drive. Could be DOS FAT, X FAT, but we don't know. Now we will uh, create an image which is a byte to byte image. Now you will see that R Studio has got a special screen now. Bad sector processing. See this enable multi pass image creation. In this option we have perform reading in reverse order. So R Studio can also perform a reverse reading minimum skip size is 512 bytes 
maximum skip size is 13153088 so we remove this we do not want any skips maximum io rate is 10% of average speed minimum number of retries i will put as 3 it has also got other options like disabling image phase it can disable a image phase at the edge phase slow areas phase skip block phase trimming phase and scrapping phase okay and it has started this is a special screen which you are seeing where you are seeing that it is a multi pass phase with a main phase now doing at the speed of 76 to 80 mb per second and showing us gradually unprocessed sectors are decreasing skip slow areas are nil skip bad areas are nil not yet trimmed areas are not done and read speed is 4.0 mb 4.07 mb per minute i shall open some io monitor for this in the io monitor you are able to see that the hard drive is imaging very well this is the bad area when it try to read the bad area it couldn't read so it is permanently marked as a bad area maybe in other passes it will try to scan the data of the bad area and see if it can get the data from the bad area it is showing me 17 to 18 days of imaging of a 7 gb drive not possible because our studio's time derivation tables of a drive are little funny we may see now it is 14 days but maybe after about 3 hours we'll see it just one hour so i do not rely on the time phase what it gives but however maybe for this particular sectors the speed may be internally less but what it is showing me is 3.85 to 4 mb not making us realize that the internal speed could be in kb it is still in mb we shall go into some other screen of options wherein we have read try count default is 1 i can make it as 3 this for usb stabilizer mode is hdd speed optimization if i want a speed of imaging i can definitely uh, show it here by uh, checking the speed optimization box and i can click on the how many ms of speed optimization i want i do not try this i don't know what it will do R Studio and uh, USB stabilizer. Now R Studio and USB stabilizer now read now reading bad sectors. See this? There were twenty one point so many bad sectors in four blocks. Now gradually it is reading those blocks very carefully. and it is taking out data from those bad sectors this is something wonderful which you will uh, miss a lot if you do not have r studio 9 and usb stabilizer this is the end phase of the imaging now rescued 7.26 gb and not yet trimmed that is yet to be seen this is 16.72 it is trimming now and it is reading at the speed of 158.79 kb per second the speed is very slow but it is giving us data this feature you will not find in most of the explorers where at the end of the session it will 
try to get data from the bad sectors. MRT may have this feature but not that strong. Deep Spar has it, Rapid Spar has it, Spark has it, USB Stabilizer has it, EC3000 has it but then you have to skip those areas but if you go and try to recover data like that on PC3000, it may be a very, 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 very slow process. So since it is a pen drive and the number of blocks are less and the amount of data is small which is to be uh, trimmed, uh, it becomes an easy process. So take advantage of this feature, you should buy USB stabilizer and you should buy RStudio 9 both together from this company. We do sell this and you can take advantage uh, from us and we sell it only in India. We sell it only in India, you should take advantage you can see that most of your data which was not going to come you can get from the pen drive by this method. Now since I have finished this method I will tell R Studio to open the image. Well this is the image I am telling it to open and here is the disk which is formed. I will click on scan and I will say come on do a detailed scan. See it has got the initial areas. Let us see whether data is obtained in file and folders or not because the initial sectors of this pen drive were very bad and it was preventing the pen drive to give 0, 63 and 2048. Okay, uh, viewers, I think you will uh, appreciate that we got a lot of data. Thank you so much, friends, for watching this video.